in this trial, we treated patients with rapidly growing uh, advanced thyroid cancer with no other therapeutic options uh, known to be effective to see if this drug, Pazopidin, may have um, efficacy in this disease. At the time we began this trial, about two years ago, there were no um, effective treatments known beyond radioactive iodine, and we selected patients who were resistant to radioactive iodine specifically for this trial with the thought that we wished to develop new treatments that might represent advancements or options, uh, again, where no other uh, options previously existed. Uh, first, in terms of the positive outcomes, which everyone is, is most uh, excited about, the, the um, results indicate that uh, pizopinib has a high level of uh, what we would call clinical activity in advanced, rapidly progressive, uh, differentiated thyroid cancers. In particular, when we take all patients enrolled in the study and examine them collectively, we find that um, roughly 50%, 49%, will have dramatic shrinkage of disease associated with the study drug. And this is by formal um, criteria where we require a um, reduction in the, um, the measurements of tumors to reduce by 30% or greater. Also very encouraging is that these responses that occur in half of all patients uh, are very durable. And uh, a majority, in fact two-thirds, last greater than one year. So these are not just short-term um, results uh, or benefits to the patients, but these are results which um, really last over a significant period of time. In terms of negative outcomes, we know that there are um, clear side effects from the drug, and these include prominently uh, diarrhea, um, increase in blood pressure, hypertension, which often will require treatment but has not been threatening to our patients. Uh, fatigue can be an issue, um, and additionally there can be uh, changes in taste, uh, perception, uh, and sometimes nausea. The um, positives uh, in terms of the drug are also um, counterbalanced to some extent with some side effects, and those need to be taken in, into account, too. In terms of serious risks, um, we've generally been uh, favorably inclined with the results of the Pazoptum trial. However, there are two patients of the um, first uh, 39 we treated in conjunction with this trial who uh, actually um, had deaths um, associated with a study drug um, that were linked to um, events which pre-existed, but which could have nevertheless have been aggravated by the study drug. So we have to take into consideration that pizopinib may, been, may have been at least an aggravating factor with regard to these two deaths, though not the primary cause. The big um, issue that we and other groups have struggled with, with um, thyroid cancers, is that the patients who really are best suited for um, drugs like pisopinib are um, very limited in numbers. It's a fairly rare situation relative to other cancers, say, uh, in comparison to breast cancer. And um, as a result, um, we um, have to be very uh, deliberate in looking at um, these drugs. And although we know that pisopinib can dramatically shrink uh, differentiated thyroid cancers in a sizable fraction of patients, we need to know more about the exact impact of pizopinib on the survival of our patients. And that information is not yet available. So we need um, data on more patients and in a fashion so that we can actually begin to examine the effects of the drug not only in shrinking and controlling the tumor, but look at this balance between risk and benefits in terms of the absolute effects on survival.